Welcome to the latest anime news for the week ending April 2nd, 2023, starting with some weird anime news. I mean, there's there's weirdness out there in anime land, which might not surprise you all. Um, shocking. Shocking. Totally shocking. So starting off with um, a dead voice actor is being brought back using AI to narrate audiobooks. No, AI is never going to take over the world. Not at all. <laughs> Not exactly. at all. Actually, several. Bring them. back the dead. Completely. Um, the company in involved says it needs as little as 15 minutes of voice samples Jesus. to completely replicate a, uh, a voice actor. It is a, so Sony has brought out this audio book, um, and they've got several voice actors in it, and several actors in general. Some of them have done anime voice acting before. <clears throat> um, Shuichiro Umeda, who worked on Shikimori's Not Just a Cutie and My Life as Yonaki san's dog, is in it as well as several others. Um, and it's just a, a variety of stories, uh, some from um, uh, Kenji Miyazawa, Katsuki Kunishi, um, Osamu Dezai, so you know, well known um, sure. yeah. authors. But um, I don't know, just kind of. Kind of creepy, kind of interesting, very weird. Well, I mean, you know, aside from the creep factor, where I mean, how would you like to be that lawyer to go to the family and go, "Hi, <laughs> um, so got any recordings uh, that we can use, or we're allowed to use, and, and and bring your your loved one back from the dead <laughs> so you can hear them?" I, I, I don't know, it's mm -hmm. kind of creepy, but <clears throat> also it kind of you know. It, it's a little bit the thought that just kept popped in my head when, when you were when you're talking about the, the list of people doing it. Mm. Um, and I was kind of thinking, well, what does that mean for voice actors? Does that mean mm. that you get paid once in your life to provide 15 <laughs> minutes worth of, you know, mm -hmm. yep. and and, you know, a range of whatever. And then mm. we go, OK, thank you. Thank you. Here's your two hundred dollars and yeah. you know, your life. And hopefully, yeah, good luck at McDonald's. Because you know, I can't imagine. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's like, but you know, that's that's kind of like when actors don't like you to take their take their picture without permission, because that's mm -hmm. you know, that's their face, it's their livelihood, and yeah. you know, it, you know, and and I guess it'd be one thing if you do it with a dead person who's no longer going to be sure. producing that voice, yeah, for obvious reasons. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> but you know, but still, I mean, think about that. I mean, if I really wanted to make something like this and I wanted to cut mm -hmm. corners, you know, I'd be kind of like going, "Okay, we're going to try to do like for the next two hours, going to get you to say things and emote them in certain ways, and then." We're done with you forever. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 interesting. Like, you know, why wouldn't you? Right. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Um, and I guess that is the line, right? Like, right. Know, yeah. Use it to to use actors who can no longer provide their voice um, for living voice actors. Maybe not so much. The um, the son of Kenji Utsumi, one of the voice actors um, featured in this. Um, is on the video for this um, sort of providing positive feedback on the technology. So, okay. you know, they, they definitely had the, the family involved. Um, How is, many zeros uh, on that check behind <laughs> that one? Well, I also wonder, like, how much can you direct an AI? Um, right. You know, how, how easy it to, is it to say, do this one more angry than that one? Mm -hmm. um, you know, add more, you know, What's yeah. more with emotion? The dog jumped over the pond. With a little <laughs> bit of emotion. The jaw jumped yeah. over the pond. So who knows? Um, kind of an an odd thing, but whatever. Um, right. Also, absolutely. Also, in beginning, this is a this is a week of anime announcements. They've announced everything this week, oh, including some weird things. There was an internet meme a while back uh, of a manga called Kuso Miso Technique, um, which is a 1987 uh, boys love slash yaoi thing, a uh, one shot that in the early 2000s became a meme um, because basically one guy walking along and he sees a buff guy on the the park bench and they. Let's just say they hit it off very quickly. Um, and so uh, it became a big thing. And 
They've announced apparently a, a version of this. Now, granted, this came out in, on April 1st. So, um, but um, Bengeki Online and Comic Natalie have confirmed this is legit. Like, this is a, an actual thing that's being done. They're going to try to get some crowdfunding for it. Um, and they're going to try to do an all ages title. Oh, okay. This. Good luck. Sure. Exactly. Um, I mean, so, I mean, I, I'm I'm hopeful that it won't be something like you know Loveless or Pop and Dean's Milk or anything <laughs> like that. But you know, I don't know. We'll see. Who knows? Um, the uh, uh, the director discovered the manga personally on uh, Tuchan back in uh, his junior high days, and then uh, did his own live action fan video on YouTube back in the glory days of of the meme. Apparently, so uh, well versed. <laughs> it, um, we're also getting apparently and again april 1st but there's official artwork um there's this snack in japan called bikuriman and they've announced it's a it's a um wafer snack okay and they've announced an anime of the wafer snack uh with character designs by hiroyuki takei of shaman king I was gonna say I really like that design. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's a, a short trailer which shows other kind of similar character designs. They all look really cool. Um, and the tagline is "This is the Reiwa era Bikuri Man." Uh, the wow. anime will be called, of course, Bikuri Men, and uh, we'll have a completely original story. Which, duh. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Not wafers. <laughs> Power of love and wafers. Power of love and wafers, exactly. The, um, hopefully the story will not be wafer thin. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see. Um, but that just, that's just kind of cool and fun, but just like, <laughs> all right, wafers. I mean, we, we have anime everything else. You know, they announced, right, why not? <laughs> you know, a couple weeks ago, they announced the, uh, the anime of uh, a reincarnated as a vending machine. So yes. we can have this. <laughs> Um, well, I was getting a TV anime for Undead Girl Murder Farce, mm. which we saw the trailer for, and uh, where one of the characters is a head in a cage. I mean, if that doesn't grab you to make you at least want to watch the first episode and just go, Why is there a pretty head in a cage? and then watch the end of the trailer, and you just like, Wait a minute, are they gonna kiss? What, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm intrigued. I mean, that, I mean honestly, it, you know, yeah. that's that's like a visual that you just kind of walk by and just go, and you have to do a double take, and you just have to look at it for a moment and just be like, "That's a head." And, I, I want to know what's age. happening. I, I want to know <laughs> what what is this? Because so, it does look like a romance story with a head in a cage. <laughs> I'm curious. <laughs> um, the only other head in a cage I can think of from anime is from. Uh, oh, a Coyote Ragtime Show, a sadly forgotten anime from, I think, the early 2000s, where there's uh, a bunch of uh, android maids with guns, uh, and one of them gets, gets blown up and her head gets put in the cage, and she kind of, that becomes one of the, the, uh, the sort of MacGuffins of the story. <laughs> um, it's kind of fun. But moving on to some anime nouns and some nah, 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 nah. for the week. Um, I think the big one has to be yeah. Pokemon. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. Pokemon Horizons TV anime coming April 14th, just a couple of weeks from now. Uh, trailer dropped. Uh, it's Pokemon. It's not much more Pokemon than Pokemon without <laughs> Ash. That's basically what it is. It's true. Um, um, here's the question. How many episodes do you go before the uh, uh, before Ash shows up. I know, right? I was actually thinking about that, like going, okay, at what point is Ash going to come in as like the mentor tutor or he's going to yep. come in for like the, hey, you can do it, mm -hmm. you know, kind of thing going on. I, I don't yeah. know. I, I want Ash to cameo as like a 65-year-old man. <laughs> Still wearing his cap. Yeah. <laughs> Hair gray drooping a little... Pikachu I've been on Walker. millions of adventures. <laughs> it ain't worth it, kid. 
Yeah, I, I don't know how I'm going to explain this one to my, my niece who's big into the game. And, yeah. uh, you know, and uh, so I'm going to be like, yeah, well, there's no ash in this one. What? <laughs> what? So I hope it works out well. I mean, you know. Yeah. I suspect it will. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, you know, to that point, you know, this just gives the opportunity. I mean, not that they ever needed an opportunity to make new Pokemon monsters mm. as they make one like every 30 mm. seconds. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, this just kind of gives you a new fresh. Okay, let's do a whole new story at least. Mm-hmm. Can we can yeah. we move on to the, you know, a greater world, I guess, of this. It also gives you a chance to, I think, uh, tweak the the formula a little bit, you know, yeah. change the flavor up, maybe make, make it a little, little funnier or a little darker or whatever. Like, you can change things around a little bit. So, who knows? I, I was just thinking, like, have the right, have Tomino. Yeah. <laughs> oh, please don't get Tomino anywhere near Pokemon. That, that's, and I think it's a recipe for sadness right there. Um, I also like that, that Pikachu, like the, uh, Captain Pikachu, yes. is is right there in the promo. I I hope I don't know if that that is the Pikachu or just a Pikachu. Who knows? But uh, but we'll see. Um, Netflix also announced a Scott Pilgrim anime. Yes, yes. with yes. the entire cast of the movie yes. as the voice cast. Mm-hmm. Animated would... at Science Sorrow. So yeah. yes, <laughs> yeah. I you know I'm not finished with the manga, but I enjoy and, and what I've gotten up to so far. I've enjoyed it. Of course, I love the movie. Yep. The soundtrack is actually pretty, pretty slapping. Um, mm-hmm. And so when I saw that that you know the Netflix was going to do, it, I was like, oh okay. I wonder who they're going to get to. Da, da. Oh no, well okay, okay, good. They got what's his name? They just got color him. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, da, 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 da. Wait a minute. It's every single <laughs> actor. I'm like. Wow. Okay. Mm-hmm. They must. I mean, clearly they had a good time doing it the first time around. Yeah. So, so mm-hmm. they they must be up on this. So yeah. Yeah. yeah get the um, studio that did you know let a short walk on girl to do Scott Pilgrim. Like that is that is the studio right there. Yeah. Holy smokes. Um. So very excited about that. Um. Fingers crossed. I also yeah. like that the trailer ends with just Scott Pilgrim. Period. The anime. Yeah. Period. Right. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna make this simple for you. <laughs> um, something that is not quite as simple, but kind of interesting. Uh, Gundam Build Metaverse was announced. Yeah. Uh, so a three-episode ONA airing in October at the same time as the launch of a Gundam Metaverse. So you'll be able to log in to a 3D world of Gundam stuff. Uh, this is a sort of concept image that they they threw together uh, there and. Apparently, the plan is you will be able to scan your Gunpla, Gundam build style, when this launches. Wow. Um, so they'll have some kind of little scanner device you put in, and you'll, your whatever your Gunpla you've built will be in there. I assume it'll be a static model. You know, will right, move. Yeah. Um, but they, they say that will be a technology available in their Gundam metaverse in October. Wow. Would you be there day one? Would you be there like day 30? Or would you be like holding off? Well, given unfortunately my schedule, I would, would not be able to do day one. But mm-hmm. if, if if I were able to do that, then yes, I would do day one. I would definitely be do, do day one. Mm-hmm. I just, you know, I mean, it's gone down. <laughs> On their day one. No, yeah. no question. Yeah. Um, but this is not the only classic franchise getting right. more anime. Again, uh, everything is getting something new. There's a new Card Captor Clear Card anime coming. Uh, sequel to Card Captor Sakura Clear Card. And this is going to adapt the rest of the manga. So oh. we're going to get the entire story of Card Captor in anime. Wow. How many volumes is that? <laughs> well, I didn't realize, and I probably saw this, but just it's just you know left out of my old brain. Um, card Captor Clear Card is a new story that Clamp started doing in manga form like some years ago. Like it's not oh. the original Card Captor Sakura. Right. Um, it is a an official sequel to the original 90s uh, 
uh, storyline. And so the Card Captor Clear Card anime was adapting the first part of that. And this is wrapping it up. Wow. So I'm assuming what happened was Clear Card comes out in the manga. They do the anime kind of season one, test the waters. It did well. And then they're like, okay, I'm going to wait for the manga to end. You know, manga is done. Okay, good. Let's come back in and animate it all out. Nice. nice. So cool. All you Magical Girl fans, this is one of the original Magical Girls. So go for it. Um, wasn't, wasn't the original series like scandalous almost for the amount of Pantsu? Um, there was a fair amount of it because yeah. Sakura flies a lot. Okay. Um, and so it was, I wouldn't say, um, I wouldn't say there was a lot of it, um, but there was certainly a significant amount of it. If I, recall okay. I wonder if that's just going to be, you know, they're going to be like, yeah. hi, yeah, more Sakura. And, uh, <laughs> you know, that other thing. That you, yeah. Mm-hmm. She's also older. Okay. Clear card. So I think she's like, because she's looking it up now. Oh, um, yeah. I believe she's canonically 10 in the original one. Yeah, ten, canonically 10. And then I think in clear card, I'm looking up now, um, she is just starting junior high. So she's like, uh, yeah. Um, so, so so the creepy factor is not lessened. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Perhaps even more yeah. so. Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't know. Um, I'm also curious... I don't believe they, yeah, they have not announced how long the new mm. sequel series will be. Uh, the first clear card with 22 episodes for what it's worth. So presumably more of the same. Huh. That'd be cool to see if there's, see, see Card Captain Sakura kind of finished out. Not the only 90s anime. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought the last 90s anime we're going to talk about today. Uh, well, actually, this is more of a 2000s thing. Um, Ghost in the Shell standalone complex 2045 is getting yeah. another compilation film. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, for a franchise that's been just kind of sitting around for a while, yeah. After they they did the series, the uh, the last series, they, they kind of just did the Gundam thing and where they just kind of okay, we're gonna make mm-hmm. a we're gonna cut everything up and put it into a movie, and then we're gonna redo that, make it better again, and we're going to make another... We're going to go Blade Runner with this and make, like, five <laughs> versions of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this is the um, presumably compilation of the second season of Ghost in the Shell 2045. Oh, okay. Got um, it. Uh, which was the Netflix anime. Yeah. Well, that's I haven't really, seen any of it, so I don't know. Oh, okay. Um, it, was, uh, it, was very inter- it was It was very interesting. I, not my favorite, but I liked it. Sure. I, I enjoyed sure. it. Fair. But I like I like that 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 art though. Yeah, that very cool art. Major. Yeah. 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 More of that, please. Yes. Um also just a I gotta mention it, ReZero is getting a second season. I'm sorry, third season. Third season. Um with a very artsy yeah. trailer. Yeah. Um more on that later, but more ReZero. Um ReZero apparently is like a, I'm going to say, it's a big deal. Um, yeah. I did okay. not realize, um, I, I thought ReZero was another isekai that had, had its fans, you know, it was successful and popular. Right, yeah. I didn't realize that ReZero was like, has become one of the modern classics. Yeah. So It's, it's, it's one of those that were like non-otaku. Mm-hmm. Kind of just sees on mm-hmm. this thing, and they're just like, "Oh, this is," yeah. it. and I almost feel like going, "One of us, one <laughs> of us." No, I'm not. Yes, you are. One <laughs> of us. Exactly. Um, let's just keep the train going. Um, uh, Oku is getting an anime from Netflix. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm very excited about this. Um, Steve, I think you would love Oku. It is set in. Um, <laughs> I believe Tokugawa era Japan. Nice. Um, basically, a uh, Edo period Japan. A disease affects only the men, huh. and so most of the men in power have died out, leaving a power vacuum for all the women. Oh wow! So women basically rule the country, but the twist is this is not basically. Um, one of the big themes of the manga from what I've read about it is the women don't want to rule. 
Like this is not what they've been trained to do. This is not. I was going to say, you know, this not this is not you know Edo period is not uh, a period <laughs> for women. <laughs> for no. Women. Uh, at exactly. all, and 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 you know, it's, it's interesting to use the word train because that's literally you know there are roles in life, and even within the caste system of you know Japan and the Tokugawa perfect, uh, you know the the way they wanted to run things, you know, it's it's going to go against the grain for them to even want to think that that's like mm -hmm. oh, because I'm sure there'll be characters in there where they're going to be like oh, I can't do this, right? Yeah, you know, like literally think that they can do this, <laughs> yeah. Um, so like even the Shogun is female in, in this. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Ooh, um, ooh. And it just deals a lot with kind of not just like, not just like let's gender swap all these characters, but like what's it like when you completely change society? Yeah, because um, that like, is. Like the most beautiful men are brought in as like concubines. Yes. Right? Like that whole thing. So it's like, wow. Yeah, because when you have a... Yeah, because that changes everything. Because when we have a woman sh shogun, because the shogun is is quite literally the day to day ruler of Japan, mm -hmm. and was actually considered to be the the approved military yep. dictator of Japan mm -hmm. historically. Like that yep. that is history. Yep. So you have a woman in that role. Oh, <laughs> okay. I'm gonna have to watch this. I'm gonna have to get the manga. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Um, the manga launched in 2004. Uh, won the I heard this, yeah. Uh, won the James Tiptree Jr. Award in 2009, Tezuko Sama Cultural Prize in 2009, a bunch of other awards over time. There's a live action adaptation in 2010, uh, various live action adaptations. Um, so oh. yeah, it's a, it's a very interesting thing. Wow, so I'm I'm hopeful, and the yeah. uh, the visuals looking very much like this, very you know, um, traditional, oh, kind yeah. Of, yeah, so. Yay! Oh, wow, yeah. Um, next news item is for John, who unfortunately can be here with us today. Uh, <laughs> there's a new anime of quintessential quintuplets. So that is coming. Um, enjoy, John. Yes, enjoy. Uh, <laughs> uh, surprise announcement this week. Aquarion is getting a fourth se a series. So, you know, Age of Aquarion. Um, what was it? Uh, there was... Scrolling back through um, Aquarian Evol, Aquarian Logos, all of those. Um, it's a mecha, it's, it's a mecha a franchise by um, Choji Kawamori. Um, okay. Across fame. And uh, yeah, they're doing another one called Myth of Emotions. So, huh. um, Aquarian getting more, more love. Nice. Exciting. Um, Bones is working on a new anime called Metallic Rouge. Yeah. Which looks cool. Um, yeah. I think it's girl turns into a mecha yep. kind of a thing. Um, very cool promo video. Um, you know, when we watched when we watched the trailer, I got like hints of Giver. Yep. And yeah. I, but but not the Geno guy, Geno Cyber Giver kind mm. of thing, but more of a tech like actual yeah. like metal tech, not not biotech necessarily. Mm -hmm. Uh, the storyline is it's called Tech Noir. Uh, humans and androids coexist. The story follows Rouge, an android girl on a mission on Mars with her partner Naomi. The mission is to murder nine artificial humans who are hostile to the government. And I'm sure it never gets any more complicated than that. No. Um, it's Armitage, isn't it? Yeah. So basically, yeah. Armitage That's what I was going to say, yeah. Um, so, curious. Hope, hope, hope that works out. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, it does. Um, not till this January, though. So <laughs> a little, little uh, ways to wait. We got a ways to go. Yeah, yeah sadly. Um, also getting an anime of, uh, I mean, <sighs> the rookie middle-aged adventurer was trained to death by the most powerful party to become invincible. <laughs> is the the title? Um, basically, the main character is a the the clerk at the local guild, so he's not an adventurer. And then decides to become an adventurer, but he's already thirty years old. Uh, so, because as we all know, life ends at thirty. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, by thirty, you're 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 an old you're, man. You're um, useless. <laughs> so he uh, he basically trains with the most powerful guild in the city, which has one of my favorite names for a guild ever, or a Calcum Fist. <laughs> That's a great long. name. This sounds like an awful medical procedure. <laughs> oh, God. 
Um, so they train him to be a you know top level fighter, basically all that kind of fun stuff. So um, eleven volumes shipped um, as of wow. December nineteenth. That should be fun. Also, it should be pointed out, not as a guy, just a straight up mm -hmm. you know fantasy anime. Cool. Um, also announced to be Hero X coming from Aniplex and Billy Billy. Uh, we saw this trailer like a year ago. Yeah, I think it was a year. And and, and we. Yeah, go ahead. No, go ahead. No, I was going to say, we thought it was an ad for a drink or something, and yeah. we were just like, we want this anime! Because it was such an amazing little short thing. And when I was like, oh, it's just an ad. Well, there it is. Now it's a thing. So all CGI, um, very stylized, heavily, heavily yeah, stylized. Yeah. Um, really, really um, just awesome visuals. Just, just yeah. Coming at you the entire time. Um, I think Animatrix, just like you know, every frame is just has something in it going on in it. Really cool. Um, so, yep, that is coming up. Um, Billy Billy, of course, being Chinese, in intriguing right. to see the crossover there. What's happening there? But yes, more of that, please. Yes, um, absolutely. Atelia Riza is getting an anime. This is a. Um, based on the Atelier uh, RPG games, I believe RPGs. Let me check that actually. Um, yes, role playing video games. Um, <laughs> they are uh, actually crafting focused video games. Huh. So the battles has this like turn based combat where you're. It's very much about kind of what what things you craft for the battles. So curious to see what that is. I always love the uh, the art for the Atelier games. I think they look really yeah really cool. So. Hopefully that will come out. Um, also getting an, uh, uh, an anime about cycling uh, called Rinkai, a women's cycling anime. Huh. So definitely we'll a sports theme kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. Um, interestingly, um, women's cycling in real life debuted in Japan shortly after World War II, but organized competitions folded after 15 years um, for the kind of lack of interest, and they dormant for several decades. Uh, and then it was revived recently. So huh. apparently this is kind of a... Um, a new thing. Okay. Kind of a new thing. Kind of com coming back, if you will. Coming back. Oh, yeah. So very cool. No launch date announced yet. Um, it definitely looks uh, like a high-quality production so far. Mm -hmm. So curious about that. Um, also announced Villainous Level 99, um, uh, which is an anime about... Uh, what was that thing? Um uh oh yes so um a girl reincarnated as villainous of the game you know whole classic thing um she, the, the problem is she she was a gamer so when she reincarnated she could, kind of couldn't help but farm for her character's <laughs> stats and so ended up as an extraordinarily high-powered character despite wanting to lay low and like not trigger all <laughs> the death flags uh so black and distance is um, Pony Canyon has announced a girls' bowling anime. Uh, okay, sure, why not? I mean, yeah, it, it, that, that was my thing. Like, I, I was gonna okay. put this into weird news, but I was like, why not? It's bowling, yeah, yeah. Everything else, every sport gets an anime, yeah. Have a bowling. I will definitely watch cute girls bowling. Um, <laughs> I'm just waiting for the anime version of the Big Lebowski. Yeah, <laughs> I wonder if they will have a reference. I, I they have it. to have one. They, they, they have yeah. to. It feels like at some point you got to throw yeah. in Jesus or something. <laughs> um, Jellyfish can't swim in the night was also announced. Um, kind of interesting. Um, by uh, Doga Kobo. Uh, studio that's done kind of everything. Um, they are mainly a second key animation and production company. Um, and celebrating the 50th anniversary of their studio, cool. they've just been busy. Um, they've just, I mean, my goodness. Um, let me see if I can pull up the, uh, the list. So, if I may. You may. Uh, let's see here. Um... 
Angel Beats, Angelic oh. Lair, Attack on Titan, Berserk, Black Butler, uh. Bleach, Bukurano, Bungo Stray Dogs, um, Castle in the Sky, Code Geass, Crayon Shinchan, Cowboy Bebop the Movie, Darker Than Black, Detective Conan, Deno Coil, Dirty wow. Pair, Doraemon, Dog of Flanders, and I'm just in the D's. So yeah. Wow. <laughs> They've just been doing Which anime have they, have they done? They done key animation for it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Pretty much. Um it'll take place in Shibuya. Um, the director of Aramanga Sensei is directing it. Um, and uh, yeah, looks like it's sort of an urban um, themed anime. So curious. Huh. Looks cool. Yes. Still not done with all the anime announcements. Not, not nearly done. Um, <laughs> Given is getting a, an anime sequel film. This, uh, I think we saw the first episode of this. This is about a, uh, a boy who joins a, uh, who, uh, I starts playing guitar um, and uh, gets involved with uh, with other folks involved in that. So sort of uh, opening your heart to music, kind of a storyline. Um, a Returner's Magic Should Be Special is getting a TV anime. Uh, the concept here is um, uh, six heroes fail to save the world. Um, the magician is able to go back in the past 13 years and has to regather the party to stop the catastrophe. Ah, uh, okay. So, hopping back into time. So, not quite a Sakai, but yeah, sort of in that realm. Um, interesting, there's not a lot of like Isekai in this list yet. Um, also announced uh, Demon Lord 2099. I said, like, everything was announced this week. I wasn't kidding. No. Um, Demon Lord 2099, a light <clears throat> novel series. Um, this is the key visual. That's basically all we know. It is set in the future era year of 2999 in Shinjuku. Um, the legendary Demon Lord makes his second coming. I don't know, man. <laughs> when well, you said... <laughs> Demon Lord making his second coming, and all I can think of is like you know, Lord Legend of the Overfiend. Yeah. <laughs> like not that, that kind. kind. Not that <laughs> kind. Um, we're getting close to the end of the announcements, but we're we're still going. Senpai is a boy. Um, is getting a TV anime. Um, uh, a high school student confesses her feelings to a boy. He reveals his secret. Um, and a love triangle forms that kind of thing. So gotcha. it's, yeah. Thank so, so a, a somewhat bittersweet comedic romance that I, because I'll be a sucker for. Yeah, basically. exactly. Yeah, got it. Got it. Um, Fuji TV announced a new anime called Bloody Escape, an all CG yes. film. Um, hard to tell. Uh, the, the video teases the premise, and you gotta love advertising like this. Androids versus vampires versus yakuza. Like, yeah, sure, I'm, I'm, I'm sure. all for that. Okay, Absolutely. okay, yes. yeah. <laughs> sure, sure. Um, Put Chow Young Fit that in there. Yeah, good to go. Totally. A little bit of John Wick action. Yeah, I'm all for it. Um, and then finally, um, a new TV anime for Fushigi Dagashiya Zenitendo. Which is uh. a uh, a series of children's novels, actually. Oh, okay. um, uh, I was going to say that's an inter intriguing graphic. Yeah, here. yeah. Um, uh, it'll be uh, airing on NHK. Not surprisingly, um, there's a, a this is a snack shop. Uh, it's all titled, it's all centered around this snack shop and things that happen to the the people there and various secrets. Oh. Uh. So is this kind of like like same. Midnight Diner where there's going to be like this underlying story of the shop itself and then like other these stories kind of come and go as the people come and go? So here's what how ANN describes it. The novel series story centers on the mysterious candy and snack shop Zenitendo, which only lucky people can find. Huh. The shop's proprietor is a woman named Beniko. That is her. And she always recommends the perfect candy for each person's trouble. However, things might not turn out as hoped if people eat or use the confections incorrectly 
Mm-hmm. So it's all about whether you you follow the directions or not. It's almost kind of like um, oh gosh, what was that anime about the insurance salesman that was kind of, that's like a mid level demon actually, and comes oh, in. Oh you know, man, um, you know, yeah, the guy has that creepy smile. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Remember, yeah. Reminds me of uh, Merlin Chopper Wonders, the Mystery Science uh, Theater episode. Um, but uh, you know, so yeah, those are all the anime announcements of the past two weeks. Yeah. We sorry, folks, we didn't have anything for you this week. We, we really <laughs> had to scrape the bottom of the barrel to get to get anything to you at this, this exactly. time around. Um, I know, but also this week we do have a few other um, uh, bits to talk about. Uh, let's see here. Um, actually, before we do that, um, we should talk about the trailer of the week. Uh, our trailer of the week this week was the trailer for Re Zero, mm-hmm. uh, third season. Because my gosh, that was an, an artsy experience, it was. I mean, you know, it, uh, I, I'm trying to remember, there was no actual score in the first part of the trailer, mm, with, right. which is this right here, which is the bird. Actually, what you see is water rushing underneath you, and then it comes to this bird, and the bird is flying through the city and does this wonderful, lovely travel through quickly, mm-hmm. and it goes up the you know and does like a ninety degree arc going up the, the building, and then you see these this beautiful of uh, scene of of feathers fluttering down. Well, what we we can't show because it's a, a video, and of course this is YouTube. Um, the bird, this is the bird's death. Mm-hmm. And this is the 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 feathers falling back down, and then as the feathers fall back down, they go black, and then you are starting to be introduced to the characters. Yeah, mm-hmm. and and this whole thing is done without any dialogue, right? Correct. Yeah, and it's just very intriguing. I mean, they came at us hard on this one. I mean, this mm-hmm. one was just like, pay attention to me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, even if you've never seen Re Zero, like yeah. this is a trailer that will make you go, ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Also, this week, things we wanted to make sure we covered, but not necessarily go into massive detail on because we've been talking a lot to begin with. <laughs> um, My Hero Academia is getting a seventh season. Yeah. Because apparently that thing still makes money. Um, wow. Romy Park is coming in as Star and Stripe, an American hero. Mm-hmm. Uh, Romy Park, famously the voice of, um, I believe, Al in yeah. uh, FMA. F- yep. Uh, and a bazillion other things. Um, Hange and Attack on Titan. You name it. Um, oh, Ken and Digimon Adventure. Awesome. Um, mm-hmm. I'm sorry, she was Ed in FMA. I always get those two mixed up. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so... Good on you, FMA, yeah. for continuing, or My Hero Academia, for keep on making all the money. Yeah. Um, Fate Strange Fake uh, was announced because it's a fate thing. It's a fate thing, and it looks like a fate thing, and it's a fate thing, and that looks like a fate thing, and it's a fate thing. So mm-hmm. if you like fate, then it's a fate thing, and it looks like a fate thing. There you the go. O- the only thing of note is that they're it's, they're bearing it in Los Angeles. Yeah. Which is interesting. Um, I believe so. Fate's yeah, Fate Strange Fake Whispers of Dawn. Uh, it is a special um, TV anime special. I'm not sure if this is like the anime special of a the series fake or I don't know. Right. I, I can't keep track of Fate ever. Um, I know. I, I think it's kind of like One Piece. I think I'm, I'm doomed. Exactly. Yeah. Um, uh, subbed and done by Anaplex. So, um, and it will be uh, simul replaced exactly. Um, it will be we simultaneously, um, everywhere, which is cool. Uh, finally, um, the developer of Con Cole won a lawsuit this week, and I want to call this out because it's kind of interesting. Apparently, at a fan event, like a comic cat esque event, there was a fan who wore a mask printed with the face of the president of Concoli's parent company, handing out toys of a non-child nature, not well, selling toys of a non-child nature, themed around the characters in Concoli. 
Oh. And wow. he was selling these at the convention. Wow. Uh, and yeah, and afterwards the company was like, no, we're suing the guy. Like that, that's just not cool. Yeah. Um, and uh uh indeed, like the 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 uh the sort the courts were like, Yep, you win. And uh so the, the individual must pay about thirty three thousand dollars wow. in damages, uh, which is wow, no small chunk of change. No joke. I mean, this is this is this is where you understand how um parody does not work for you. Mm -hmm. And and you know, and um you know, you can I'm I'm forgetting the term of it. But you know, just basically here in America, that there was actually last year a lawsuit against that Jack Daniels put against a uh, mm. dog toy company because they did a spoof of one of their dog toys with a Jack that looked like a Jack Daniels bottle. Mm. Mm -hmm. But you know, Jack Daniels didn't win. But then again, it was just a dog toy. This is like you know, this is someone misrepresenting the company yeah. in, on purpose to sell these things that are mm -hmm. not you know, it, you know it's not like a, oh it's a cute dog toy come on you can't do it oh this is a oh oh my god no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah um and wearing the mask like clearly, clearly. he's you know yeah uh, he, he, he had a statement he had a statement yeah, exactly yeah. yeah so yep uh so don't do that everyone please <laughs> yeah, please don't do don't <laughs> Bad idea. Um, I can't believe it, but that's all the news for this week. Wow. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. Thank you. See you next week. Cheers to Papa.